Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Back at you again with a quick speed tip. We had a question from Apinam, and uh, Apinam said, "Hey, I would like to be able to once the user selects, let's say they type in one, two, three in cell A1, and as soon as they hit enter, I would like for that to somehow make that cell protected and then where they can't edit it anymore." So let's review a few basics about cell protection. Basically. <clears throat> By default, a worksheet is not protected, but all the cells are uh, ready to be protected if you protect the sheet, or locked rather. So if you click on Select All, for example, I'm going to hit Control 1, and if you go over to the protection, you'll see that they're all locked. So let's unlock them all and see what happens. I'm going to hit OK. When we lock, or protect rather, the worksheet, Alt T P P, that's for Alt Tools uh, Protection Protect Worksheet. So Alt then hit T, then hit P, and then hit P again. It'll bring this, uh, we're not going to put a password right now. We're just going to leave it as it is. Now, right now as it is, you can select any cell that you want. Any cell that you want. And, furthermore, you can type in any cell that you want. But, if we, let's unprotect it, Alt T P P again. Let's um, let's select just these cells here, okay? And we're going to hit Control 1, and these cells we want to be, uh, well, excuse me, no, let's select everything. Control 1, let's go to Locked, and then we're going to select just a small group of cells that we want to be editable, for example, so Control 1, and we'll unlock only those cells, but everything else is locked. So that means that if I hit Alt T P P, uh, and I will hit enter that I cannot double click and try to edit this cell but anything within our range whatever that was over here can be selected and even edited one two three one two three one two three one two uh, so I can't edit so there's our boundary right there anyway so that's the basics behind that and, and the tab key will only let you tab between the unprotected cells as well so I'm holding the tab key down so Let's get to the VBA part. So we're assuming that when this trigger event, by the way, this is going to be a worksheet event, uh, which is a change event. So let's go ahead and right click on the sheet that we're looking at. Let's go to view code. So we're looking specifically at the code within sheet one, or whatever this one shall be named. Let's go to a worksheet event, and not a selection change, but rather a just a change in the worksheet. Not when you click somewhere, but when you actually change the value. So what we need to do first of all we're assuming that the sheet is protected and so we need to unprotect uh, that sheet temporarily so that we can change the the protection status of that or the um, whether that cell is locked or not so let's go ahead and work on the first part which is unprotecting the sheet so we're going to say active sheet dot unprotect that's going to unprotect it if you had a password you'd have to put you know password colon equals and then you know whatever the password was or something but we're not going to include that we just say active sheet dot unprotect and then we're going to say um, the part about um, now whenever you use a change event the target is is the actual cell range of the cell that you just changed hence the change event anyway so that we're gonna say target that was our last cell that we just updated and so we're gonna say target dot locked equals true so now that cell is locked and it cannot be edited anymore and then to make it harder for them to edit that cell we're gonna say active sheet dot protect and uh, we're not going to do the password but if we wanted to it's the same concept you hit a space bar and you put password colon equals and you put whatever your password is or whatever so anyway so we're going to say active sheet dot protect after the target cell that we just changed has a locked status is equal to true now so whenever we checked protect or unprotect that be the t that cell dot locked became either true or false so that's pretty much it and so then it'll reprotect the sheet immediately and then that cell that we just messed with will be locked so let's go ahead and see what happens when we change a cell in this worksheet and I put a stop marker just by clicking this little gray area that way as soon as we trigger the macro it'll stop right here and wait for us to to run through the commands as we wish so let's go ahead and okay so so all these cells here are pretty much unprotected so let's just pick a1 for example 
uh, I it, obviously if I can edit anything in that cell if I'm put 987 so as soon as I hit enter that will trigger the change event because I just changed a cell in the worksheet so here it is and we put our stop marker I can take that off now active sheet is going to be unprotected now so let's do that and then target dot locked currently the cell is not locked target dot locked is false we're going to change that to true so now it's locked and then once we protect the sheet using this code right here the sheet will now um, uh, have uh, that one where we can't edit it anymore in A1 so let's hit F8 and F8 and now uh, the sheet is locked again but I can if I'm going to try to edit cell A1 I'm going to type uh, 9 again it's going to say hey this, this cell is now locked when the sheet is protected so but if I do so let's do the same thing to a cell A2 obviously if I can type anything in there then it is currently unlocked but if I hit enter and then I go back to review hey cell A2 is now locked so that is a working code for what Apinam wanted to do can't ever edit this cell again enter and now I cannot edit it again so it happens very quickly and invisibly but that is the VBA code to do that I'm gonna go ahead and save this in the Dropbox account you'll see a link to my Dropbox a shared Excel VBA folder if you just look at the video description uh, Excel VBA is fun shared workbooks I'm gonna save this as a macro enabled workbook and this workbook if you want to look for it is called it's going to be called um, uh, 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 lock cells after changing them yeah that's good enough so look for the one called locked cells after changing them and you'll be able to download this workbook and play with it all you'd like for free don't forget to check out my new ebook um, which is the essential Excel VBA snippets. It's basically little bits of code that you can copy and paste and use yourself on your own projects. And that is for free if you'll click on the link on the video right now. Also, uh, don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. I'm going. To, I'm actually working on a big project right now that's going to help you uh, increase and enhance your Excel VBA knowledge. And we also currently have one on uh, barcoding, using barcodes um, on Udemy, so you can check that out right now. Anyway, thanks again for watching. God bless. Are you looking for a way to easily improve productivity in your workplace? Are you tired of the drudgery that comes with manual data entry day in and day out? Hi, I'm Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun, and I've got your solution, barcoding. With my new course on barcoding in Excel VBA, you'll learn just how easy it is to design your own programs, to automate data entry, and keep track of items entered, so much more. I'll show you how to generate your own barcode sheets in Excel and how to use them in a variety of exercises in the program. Whether you're an absolute beginner to an advanced Excel user, I will take you through each step in detail so anybody can learn this. I'll show you how the included Excel workbooks function. I'll teach you about creating the best labels and the best label sheets that you can buy. We'll build two different versions of barcode-friendly user form projects and add features in each lesson. Then we're going to add labels, total up our inventory on the fly. We'll learn how to process items in your worksheet database from simple lookups to advanced cell marking and dating techniques. We'll also review extensively how to get the best scan in multiple scenario types. With over two hours of content and lifetime access to the course materials, this is a must-have for your learning collection. Don't live another day with manual data entry. With this course, you'll drastically reduce data entry errors, improve efficiency, and learn a totally essential and fun art form. Barcoding in Excel VBA. Order today.